Hello, everyone. Mark says you are live. Hello, everyone. Paula Faust, Elite Gamer, Jeff Ha, Andrea Franco, Darren Markley, Nicholas Guerrero, Margo, Love You, Manic Miner, Emmett Freed, Tony Del Monte, Melissa McQueen, Nicole Wilson, Arizona Jumper, Beth Standard, Weewick, Kimberly Barr, Sarah Joy, Jeff Ha, Ali Baba, Michael One Hair Zebra, Wendy F, Dustin Allen, Sony Way Today, So Any Way Today, Kenneth Colton. Kimberly Barr named a new foster kitty after me. Oh, that's nice. Traveling Skinny Lizzie. John A. and P.D. Resonics, Jim Nasium, T.L. Andrea Franco, Susie Q. Alex Duncan, Mark French. It's Love You. Tony says, glad this is early. This is considered early. Oh, is, is it echoing? Hold on. Shouldn't be echoing. Shouldn't be echoing. It's not, the video isn't playing anywhere else. I don't know why it would be. Linda Belk is there moderating. So is Mark Helton. Mark was kind of close to where the tornado was. Mark said he was helping deliver supplies to the people who got hit by the tornado in Alabama. That was terrible. It's iffy. It is Terry. Kenneth Colton, I heard EF2 or EF3, but I didn't even really look, so I don't know. All right, so we are here. We were going to come on early. I was, I was getting ready to come on earlier, and then that other news happened. So I'm sorry we, we didn't get on till late. Mark says it was bad on the ground, a poor area with old homes and mobile homes. Certainly thoughts to everybody there. I wanted to update you on the on the mail situation so we can move forward. Thank you, Jeff. So you can let everyone else know what's going on with the mail. People can keep asking about the mail. Let me also do this. Let me just also do this really quick. Julie Goring is in the Lurkers Lounge. Brendan Brumond is here. All right, so most of you know, I think, that we've been having some mail issues, right? I assume. Maybe some of the people are there who've sent me packages. Darren, the new underwear 
are good. Remind me later. I'll talk about them later. Stephen Myers is here. Baby Shark is here. Mike Owen is here. Stay safe with the storm, Mike Owen. Beth says, my package arrived yesterday according to Amazon. I don't know. It might get returned to you. It might get returned to you. Get ready. This is what we need to, this is what we need to discuss. Diane Frenzel. Sarah Joy says, it's windy in California. It's supposed to rain in California. It's a winter storm. The heaviest precipitation is expected tonight in California. I'm reading a Los Angeles Times article. Okay. Also, beginning Tuesday night, gusts of 25 to 60 are predicted. Hey, it's Bodo Cor de Rosa. Neighbor was complaining about noise. Hasn't complained since then, though. Nicole Wilson says it's windy and rainy in California. Chris, I'm glad you like the lights. I actually have. I can, I can actually do this. I should be able to call this up. Where is that? Um, I have like a map. Where is it? Here it is. I have a map where you can look at you can look at the wind speeds. National Weather Service observations gust layer so Santa Cruz gusts of 38, up here gusts of 46, gusts of 50 by Fremont. These are gusts. These are not sustained winds. Getting down here, not as windy in Southern California. More windy in Northern California. All right. Just checking it out. Some wind way up here. All right, well, stay safe, everyone, in California. All right, so let's talk about the mail situation. Let's talk about the mail situation.
Okay, so... People might remember that people are sending me things and they're getting returned, right? So there was this weird thing going on where I have a post office box. I have a, a USPS box. And um, people were sending me stuff and it was getting sent back to them. So... I went, the first thing I did is I went to the post office to ask them about this. And I talked to the person who actually sorts my mail. Okay? And um, the person said, oh, are you, you know, my box is 1009. And they said, oh, are you box 1009? So they knew. So, what they said was happening is they said that some of these packages um, were being sent and they have something on them that says return service requested. And return service requested supposedly means they can't be forwarded. That if, if they don't go... If they don't end up where the address is, then they get sent back. So that's what they say. Now, this was never a problem when I lived in Atlanta. But basically, a bunch of Amazon packages, I guess, are sent to me. And it says return service requested. So they literally can't be forwarded. They will just send them back. And that's what's been happening. So they show up at the post office. The post office sees that I have forwarding on. They say, well, we can't forward this, so they send it back. So that's what's been happening. And I literally talked to... I literally talked to... Um, the person who sorts the mail. No, it's, 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 again, I guess what they said is it said, hold on, they said if it's, if it's, um, they said if it's, uh, if it has return service requested, it literally can't be forwarded. So here's what I decided to do, right? So clearly, clearly I can't keep the situation the same. If people are going to keep getting their packages returned, I can't keep the situation the same, right? Nicole says, I still think it might be an employee issue. You know, I, I'll say it's not just one person because I, I went in there, I went in there a month, three weeks ago. I went in there three weeks ago, and, this, and a different person told me, no, we won't forward the packages. The only person who ever told me they can forward packages is the mailman. But multiple people at the post office, including the person who sorts the mail, have said they can't. So at a certain point, if the person sorting my mail at the post office is saying they can't, right, um, there's really not much I can do. I don't think I'm going to get it. I don't think I'm going to get somebody to overrule the person sorting the mail at the post office. Right, Madison G. It never was a problem in Atlanta. So, Chris Smith says, Have you talked to the postmaster? I went to the post office and I said to the person, I said, Can I speak to the manager? And the person started talking to me and said, I'm the person who sorts your mail. They said, I'm, they said, 1009. She said 1009, so she knew. She said, I'm the one who sorts your mail. So I could probably sit here and get into a weeks-long dialogue with them. I just don't think it's going to work.
So let me explain what I'm going to do. Let me explain what I did. I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished yet. So I thought to myself, well, obviously I have to cancel the mail forwarding. But that's not ideal because the the uh, the post office is not like right next to me. It's it's a bit of a walk. It's a bit of a walk, and you know I don't want to always have to take that time in the middle of the day to go to the post office. And also, you know, sometimes people send me a bunch of packages, and I, I it's it's kind of a long walk to lug all these things. So one of our viewers in the last stream had said, well, what about a UPS box? Camille actually mentioned it in this stream. Somebody mentioned it last stream. So I have a UPS store near me much closer than the post office. And I called them up yesterday. And the price for a mailbox there is, it's probably twice the cost of a P.O. box. It may even be a little more. I think a year, a year for a P.O. box is like 90. It's probably more than double. But, but, but it's much closer to me. So I could get packages there and they'll hold my packages. And yeah, I, I'm not going to have them forward it, but it's, it's much, much closer to me. It's also open later. So what I have done, here's what I have done. I have opened a UPS box. I now have a UPS box and I'm going to be closing the the post office box. If I close the post office box in the next couple of weeks, I get three quarters of my money back. They give you a refund back on the, at, for the post office. If you open an annual PO box and then you cancel after a certain number of months, they give you a refund. So if you cancel within the first three months, you get a refund of three quarters of the money. So basically the next couple of weeks, I got to cancel the PO box. I'm not canceling it right this second because I know some people have sent me stuff, so I want it to get there. But you should not be ever again sending me anything to my P.O. box because I'm going to cancel it. So I'm going to give you the new address, and the new address is from for my UPS box. Madison said, I got my refund from the post office. It was quick. Linda says, that's what my son has. It's much easier to deal with. You still have your cart? My cart? What do you mean my cart? <laughs> oh, yes, I know my, my pull cart. No, so I don't think... I have like shopping bags. I have like canvas grocery bags. I don't think I'll need a cart. I don't think anyone's sending me like a refrigerator or anything. So... I, I, I'll just bring a cup. I, I can bring bags to the po to the UPS store and just carry the packages. That won't be a problem. I won't need the cart. Yeah, you shouldn't be sending me something that's heavy, so heavy it needs a cart. If it's if you are, you should ask me about it first. Camille thinks I'll like this way much better. Chris says I hope this gets resolved. Hey, hey, guys, 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 guys. So look. I like that you get along with each other and, and you have conversations about stuff, but please do not carry on an extended, like, two or three person conversation in the chat that's not relevant to anyone else. Please, 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 please take that into a private chat room. Not every comment needs to be about what I'm talking about, right? But at a certain point, if like two or three of you are spending 10 minutes talking about something amongst yourselves, 
everybody else is looking at the chat and they're like, I, I don't want to look at this. You know what I'm saying? So I love that you're friends with each other. I encourage you to have your own private chats. Create your own chat room and chat away. Not everything you say has to be on topic, but when it gets to the point where like after five minutes I'm reading the same conversation between three people, that's something you should open up a private chat room and just you can have the, you can have a window open. You can you can do it while we're on the air. Just keep it in a different window. But once it gets once it gets to be about ten minutes long, it's you know. <laughs> So just use, use your judgment. Use your judgment on it. We got the train. Um, Happiness says you're proactive and get things taken care of. Well, this I needed to get taken care of. So I did this. That's what I spent all yes, all early yesterday. That's what I spent doing is opening up, is, is dealing with the post office and then opening up the UPS box. So I'm now going to give you my UPS new address. Terry, the, the shopping bags, I have these big canvas shopping bags. They're great. That's all I need. Jeff says, glad this gotten taken care of. Yeah, the, the, the train sound seems to be carrying well tonight. It's very warm out. It's great tonight. It's very nice. Nicole Wilson says, yay. So here is, here's the new address. Here's the new address. I'm going to put it on the screen right now. And it doesn't say P.O. Box on it. It's just a street address. But it's not my home address. Okay? So I'm going to put the address on now. Here it is. There is the address. That is it. Let me double check and make sure that's it that's it so let me emphasize this is not a home address I think I'm gonna have to do a thing when we put when we have like the mods post post this address I think I'm gonna have to have the mods say something like in parentheses this is not a home address because people will see this and think it's my home address so I don't want people to be misled. So, oh, Silver and Stones is here. So I think we may have to do that, is say, send, uh, okay, thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. I actually deleted the Nightbot one. We can create a new Nightbot one, but, I, but it, it has to say, I, I can do it right now, actually, but it's gotta say the right thing. Let me see if I can do it right now. Why is this? Hold on. Uh, okay. We'll go to commands. Create a new one. Ooh, here we go. No, I, I'll just fix the one we have. I'll fix the. I'll fix the one we have. I didn't get rid of it. Okay, it's 424 East Central Boulevard. And then I'll just add, this is not a home address. Okay, let's try this. Oh, I should yeah, I should change it to UPS. <laughs> now I just wanted to, I just want to say m maybe mail. Maybe I'll change it to mail. That's what I'll do. I'll make it mail. That's better. Uh, 
Let me just make one more adjustment. Let's try this again. Yeah, Starfire, Amazon charges usually if, 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 if UPS has to pick it up. Maybe there's, but you know, if there's a UPS store near you, you might be able to leave it there or an Amazon store. Oh, no, I, I, I forgot. I, I, I missed it. I didn't put it. I didn't put in the, uh, the, the number 719. All right, hang on a second. I have to retract it now. I can't retract it. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. I messed it up. Let's try this again. Yeah, I know. There we go. There it is. 424 East Central Boulevard. I think, I don't know if I should put a period in front of the E. So let me ask you this. The way the... Uh, I'll leave it like that. The official address from the post office is not E period. It's just E. It's E Central Board, but it's just E. It's not E. Well, I'm going to leave it E. I'm not going to put E period because the way the post office has it is just E. Yeah, 719 is the box number. Margo says they don't use the period anymore. Oh, Nightbot is so good with the all caps. It is great to see Nightbot with the all capital letters. So, so again, I, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to, um, Maudib, that is the address. That is the official address for my mailbox. That's the address they say to use at the store. It's that address. Camille thinks I should put a period after the E. No, Terry, I still have my I still have my home address. I still have my home address, my, but I don't give out my home address. This is my mailbox address. This is my UPS mailbox address. This is just for work. So they should they said any kind of package they accept there. I said, um, you know, do you have to pick up the package right away? They said they've had some packages that have been sitting there for years. So, so you should be able to send anything there. Don't use the previous, you, again, in about a week, in about a week, I'm just going to get rid of the post office box. I'm, I'm not canceling it yet because I know some people have sent stuff there. So like maybe next week I'm going to go and I'm going to check the post office box and make sure there's nothing in there. Yes, Mark, that should be changed. Mark, you can, if you want, you can change it, Mark, on the other platforms. Yeah, that's my, that is now, that is now my official mailing address. And you can literally use the uh, exclamation point mail command that I wrote out in the blurb. Thank you, Mark. That'd be awesome. I can change it too, Mark, if you want. Let me know. But it's good to go. That the 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 who who will be the first person to send me something at my new mailbox? <laughs> Camille says I go like once a week, about once a week, and sometimes not for two weeks. The packages are in the back, stored safely, and it's a lot better than the U.S. government PO boxes. I mean, I I always had good service from the USPS, but you know, 
this will be much better. It's much closer. It's much closer for me. You know, if I, you know, if I have to walk to the post office all the time, there's a chance I'll miss breaking news while I'm walking to the post office, and I really don't want that to happen. Stephen, I have an Instagram at Lookner. I hardly ever post on it, post on it then, although. Is there a prize for the first person to send me something at a new address? I'll congratulate them on the year. All right, I'm going to take my address off the screen now. Hey, it's Clay Sales. So does that sound like a plan? Hopefully this all works. Hopefully this all works. Oh, something else I got to tell you about this is... Um, you know what was great? I got a triple A discount. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a member of the auto club. And the discount was like 15%. Probably paid for half of my auto club membership. I, I, you know, I didn't even realize it. And I went on their website and it said triple A discount. And I'm like, oh, I forgot about that which was great. I remembered at the last minute. So that's that was good. That was good. No, no it's not AARP, Maudib. It's triple A. AARP is for uh, American Association of Retired People, I believe. <laughs> that's AARP. Triple A is great. I mean... I, I have not had much problem with my car, but if your car ever, like, if the battery stops or you have a car problem, you can call them and they'll come right out. I've used it multiple times. Forty years ago, my car, something like went, got messed up in my car, and they just came and they towed it to the repair shop. Terry says, love triple A's towing, saved my baking many times. Yeah, AAA A is the kind of thing like you might not use it in a given year, but if you, it'll make up for it if you end up using it because you can save a lot of money. I, I probably use it like every three years. Haniel likes the apartment. Thank you, Haniel. Terry says you only get three a year free, then they start charging. Hopefully I don't do that. More need more than three a year. Carol says, I love my AAA. My son uses it because his gauge doesn't work. By the way, I don't know if anybody noticed, I found a new color of shirt. I'm so happy with this color of shirt. It's a uh, Old Navy shirt. I love the Old Navy soft wash t-shirts. But it's called, what is it called? This color is called, it's like winter something. It's like it's a, it's a special color. What is it called? Hang on, I'm going to find out. Wintry Waters. Wintry Waters. I think it's a new color. It's, it's a light blue. It's a light blue. Here, look. Here it is. And I don't think they've ever had this color before. Is it wrinkle-free? I don't know if it's totally wrinkle-free. These are pretty wrinkle-free. I don't iron my shirts. I just wash them and dry them, and they look fine. So I'm very happy. I, I bought one of them. The shirts are like 8 bucks. It's my favorite shirt. I wear these Old Navy soft wash tees. Um, and the, if you buy them online, they're like eight. They're on sale. They're like $8. $8. It was $8. Here, I'll post this. But these are the best kind. The gray, the gray shirts, 
I, I, the blues are the best. The blues are the best and the softest. The dark blue. This is a nice one. The blacks are pretty good too. Um, they're not as soft for whatever reason. And then the gray, I have a few of the grays and I like the pattern. They're not as, the grays are like a little smaller, strangely, than the blues. Um, but anyways, I'm, I'm happy with this. Christopher Lund says, that's my modeling pick. Glad they used. There he is. There's Christopher. Christopher, what happened with the hostage situation? I haven't checked in the last few minutes. Hold on a second. Was there an update? Christopher is in Austin. There was this hostage situation going on. But then they hadn't heard from the hostage taker in like two hours. I'm not seeing any updates. No, I haven't seen any updates lately, so I'll let you know if I hear anything. No, Sarah Joy, there's not really anything to cover, you know. If I go on the air, there's, there, there's, there's nothing to, to tell people. There's no updates. So I, I, you know, it, it, be, it ends up being me staring at, you know, Twitter for 20 minutes at a time. So it's not, I don't think it's particularly right for coverage. Yeah, I saw two reporters reporting on it, you know. Chris says, still ongoing, last I heard, crazy, it's a doctor. Supposedly it's a doctor. Anyways, I, I posted some stuff about it on my Twitter account. You can go to my Twitter account and you can research it there. Hey, thanks so much for uh, Clay, Clay Sells. Hey, thank you, Clay Sells. That's very kind of you. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much, Clay Sells. Thank you. Read is real, heard the hostage is a female physician. I didn't hear that. Can you send me where you heard that? Uh, maybe I'll tweet it out. Joe's Joe Knight says, if you received my package. Joe, I, did, I have no packages here as of right now. I haven't checked the mail yet today. So if you're, if you're watching... Either I'll get your package or it'll be sent back to you. If it's sent back to you, you should send it to the new address because some of the packages to my old address, the, the, UPS bo the USPS box, were being returned. That's why, I've, that's why I now have the new address. I'm going to have Nightbot post it right now. So thank you for sending it. I hope I get it. If not, you should send it to the other address. But I don't. I haven't checked the mail yet today. There's nothing right here sitting in my apartment right now. But I haven't checked the mail yet today. Oh, Nicole Wilson sent me something from uh, Jody Barr. Jody Barr from KXAN is posting from the scene. Here, I'll show you. For the first time in 25 minutes, the doc in, the APD is on the megaphone. The doc inside is in pain and needs meds per APD. SWAT has mentioned the pain is in the throat but pre-existed today's events. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the issue is.
So that's one thing. And then somebody else sent me um, something else. Oh, Jessica McBride sent me something from Amanda Ruiz. She's covering it too. We are going at almost six hours on this hostage situation. A witness tells me she was working in the office when a man with a gun came in and took everyone inside hostage. A witness told Fox News the suspect is a doctor. A witness told me the suspect did not work in the office. So that's what's going on. Okay, hang on a second here. Ooh. Hey, I have an update. I have an update. I have an update for you. I have an update for you about the doctor's office after there's been a lot of just not much going on maybe flashbangs maybe flashbangs Melanie Barden says just heard a loud explosion by the pediatrician's office and multiple pops could be flashbangs so I'm wondering if they're going in there I will let you know if I hear more. Oh, I guess they're sending in a robot. Here, look. Right now, the SWAT situation at the pediatrician's office is still ongoing. I'm hearing over the bullhorn officers warning that they're sending in a robot. That's in Austin, Texas. Please respect the rules. Hey, thank you, Idol One, for your support. Thank you, Idol One. That's very kind of you. And thanks, Idol One, for shouting out the moderators. Someone said. Nan B said their live stream just went down. I'm going to, it was one of the local news stations out there. Nicole Wilson, for dinner, I made a chicken breast. I have other stuff to talk about, too. Yes, Curtis, I have a new address. I have a new UPS mailbox. UPS mailbox. This is my address. Send everything here. Don't send anything more. Don't send anything more to a USPS box. I am closing my post office box. Send everything here. That's my UPS box. <laughs> See? Like when I do this?
Edward, I'm glad you liked the walk stream yesterday. Oh, hold on a second. Hey, look, look, update, update from Austin, update from Austin. Jody Barr, multiple loud explosions just sounded at Doc's office. A Austin police announced it would be sending a robot in. Seconds later, a loud blast and what sounded like multiple shots. Silence since seen now. That's from Jody Barr. Murkrow, I'm glad you liked the walk stream. Hanyo, I don't really think I'm going to do much impeachment trial coverage. I think we pretty much know what's going to be said, and I think I pretty much know what the vote's going to be. So unless there's something, like, really new, I probably won't do you doing much coverage of it. Jessica, I don't know if the robot is like to see what's going on. Mark says robot probably had a flashbang, so I don't know. Right, Robert says robots can shoot by remote control. Maybe that's the case, so I don't know, you know. I don't know what's going on there, but... Cowshy <laughs> says this is not a nice vid. Okay. Hey, by the way, I, I was looking for something in my apartment. Just look, I was looking for this like cleaning brush. I couldn't find this cleaning brush. And then I was looking around and I found someone had sent me two packs of these. I don't know if Misha sent me these like last year. These were sent to me like in like last March. So I have two packs of five K KN95 masks which are like N95, but different. Uh, so thank you whoever sent these to me. I found two packages of these, but, but I, I'm telling you, th these were sent to me like last March or something, and I just didn't even realize I had them. So it's nice that someone sent them, but they've been just sitting here. I was thinking of getting some masks. It's just, I, I don't want to get all into it now, but it's, as I've said before, it's hard to find out like where are reputable places to buy them and then whether those places have legit masks or knockoffs. So I've been, I've been double masking with my cloth masks. UA grad says, pretty sure it was Misha. Margo says, check the date, uh-oh. 12 Twelve Tree says those are the ones used overseas. I don't see a date on these. Oh, these are from China. These are made in China. <laughs> made in China. Yeah, people were offering to send me masks. Like when we first started covering it, I was like, I don't need a mask. That's when we first started covering it. By the way, I heard some new um, numbers today. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me update, 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 hold on.
So Jody Bard just posted. Looks like this may be over. Multiple Austin police officers with rifles have loaded up and are leaving the scene. Well, I hope everybody's safe. No, I think Je I, I think he's a little far away, so he doesn't know what happened at the office. He's not like right next to the office. I'm sure they move people back. I'll let you know when I hear more. UA grad, I know like I've, I've been told the FDA lists things, but then if they list a company, then I don't know am I, if I buy that, if I buy that comp, that brand, am I getting like the fake ones or the real ones? I just don't really trust where uh, these things, I'm guessing they're so easy to fake and it's probably very lucrative to, to, to do knockoff, to make knockoff ones. Okay, anyways, um, you know, I read this thing, though, you know, so I guess the Biden administration said today that they're right now, they think they're going to have, what is it, 300 million doses by the end of summer? Is that what they said? Right? If I can find it here. Not doses, uh, vaccinate 300 million people. Yeah, Biden says U.S. will have enough vaccine doses for 300 million Americans by, by end of summer. So that was said today. So hopefully that can happen. Um, but, you know, that'd be nice if it could happen. I mean, it's end of summer. That's from CBS News. But, you know, something to keep an eye on is the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is a single-dose vaccine. They are reporting their th phase three final results, testing results, um, in the next week. So that, in theory, could make it faster. I think if the Johnson & Johnson vaccine works, I read an article that said something like if the Johnson & Johnson vaccine works, that maybe the U.S. could vaccinate everybody by the end of June. Yeah, here's this article here. Hang on. This is Wall Street Journal. Yeah, if Johnson & Johnson says it expects to report results of a large clinical trial of its COVID vaccine by early next week and to deliver 100 million doses for use in the U.S. by the end of June if the results are positive and the vaccine is authorized. So if the Johnson & Johnson vaccine works, if it works, it looks to me like there could be enough to vaccinate everybody in the U.S. Um, basically by the end of June. That would be good. I mean, it's that's five months away. That's five months away. Oh, I, I can't wait to get the vaccine. It'd be such a big deal.
I want my mom to get it too. She's probably close to getting it. But she can't get it yet. Up another train. Jeff Haas says my mom got her first dose last week. Jade Angel says would be nice if it could be over eventually. Edward Kim, I don't care. One dose is easier than two, but I don't care as long as I uh, can get it. Chandra, in Florida, it's anyone over 65 can get it. Sec here. Okay, so we discussed we discussed the um Oh, thank you to Dizzy Dale. Hey Dizzy Dale, thank you, Dizzy Dale. That's very kind of you. I appreciate that, Dizzy Dale. Thank you. Thanks for the sticker. Uh Rock uh L's MC said LMC says getting dose number two tomorrow. Very cool. Oh, I got to talk about the dishwasher. I got to talk about the dishwasher. Things have been going very well. First of all, by the way, um, thank you. Whoever mentioned to me, so I got those, um, I got that underwear. Let me, let me, uh, let me hold up the picture. Of, let me hold up the underwear. Hold on. We are Where'd it go? Here it is. So this is the underwear that I bought from Duluth Trading Co. That McNeo, McNeo got for me. Oh, hold on a second. Oh my gosh. My Cupid's Arrow underwear. I don't really like the go buck naked part, but I like the rest of it. So, um, but uh, one of our viewers told me, um, they, they were like, hey, the price is different. We were, after I bought it, uh, the viewers said, oh, the price is different. So after the broadcast, the price had gone down since I bought it by like $8. It was on sale. So I called up Duluth Trading Co. Duluth Trading Co., their like customer service line is like open until 1 a.m. Central Time. So I called them up at like 1.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And the person gave me a refund of like the $8. How about that? So I owe a thank you. I owe an $8 thank you to whoever uh, told me the price was different. Nice job. I still haven't watched the Duluth underwear commercials. I got to watch some of them. People keep saying to watch. Arizona Jumper says baby elephants are better. I like the baby elephants. 
And Jeff says that's good customer service. Well, let me do this real quick. Hold on. We got to talk about the dishwasher, though. I got to. We got to discuss this. I got a big update about the dishwasher. Amber says, "Do you like them enough to buy more?" Um, I got to wear them some more. You know what? The, I would buy more, Amber. I don't like the go, go buck naked. If it didn't, they all of their underwear, all of their boxer briefs have go buck naked on them. It's like their slogan. Um, if it didn't have go buck naked on it, I would, I would buy another pair because I like them. But I'm, I, I just can't. The go buck naked is just bothers me. Okay, hang on one second here. Hang on one sec here. All right, I'm going to tell you about the dishwasher. I'm going to give you the big dishwasher update. But before I do that, I need one minute. Give me one minute. Behave yourselves. I'm coming right back in one minute. No, I'm not leaving. I'm coming back in one minute. All right, we're back. Hey, we're back, everyone. We're back. Jeff Haas says, this break is brought to you by Google. Yankees Rain said, did I miss what happened to the mail? Yes, but what you should know, Yankees Rain, is the USPS box is being closed. I now have a UPS mailbox. This is my UPS mailbox. Mail all stuff immediately to this address not the old address do not message to the old ad do not mail to the old address that is the new ups mailbox jessica says we all misbehaved while you were gone i would love to get stuff at the new mailbox it's fresh and clean and waiting for mail Maria says we were perfectly behaved while you, when you were gone. Okay. What will I get at the mailbox? Who knows? Murkow said, Murkrow says one Murkrow Pokemon coming up. I never even played Pokemon. I played Pokemon Go on the phone for a couple hours. 
Does anyone still play Pokemon Go? Um, hey, update about that hostage situation in Austin. Melanie Barden says, right now it appears as if things are wrapping up. It appears things are wrapping up at SWAT potential hostage situation at pediatrician's office. Multiple SWAT vehicles leaving the scene after we heard loud bangs. It's unclear the status of the suspect or any potential hostages. Lizzie says, we play Pokemon Go a lot on my house. On my house. Uh, Andrea Franco, I never got the pizza cutter. I think Chris said they weren't in stock yet. Baby Shark says Ninja still plays Pokemon Go. Christopher Lund says no one walking out is not a good sign. Well, I'm I'm hoping maybe the uh, I'm hope look if the maybe if the maybe if the maybe if the hostages are okay they just take them out in a car or something like that. So I don't know that anyone's walking out. I mean, if they're really far away, they might not see anybody walk out. Ooh, Chris said they issued a tracking number on the cutter. Now, Chris, you sent the cutter to the post office box. <laughs> I hope it gets there, Chris. If it doesn't, you might have to mail to the other address oh thank you tony del monte tony thank you tony says my bank told me many people have not gotten the stimulus check yet tony i hope that gets cleared up for you <laughs> i hope that gets cleared up for you chris says lund yup i hope so too chris um yeah it's a giant lottery with my my mailbox but it won't be any more Maria says they send all the extra people away and keep the crime scene investigators. Maybe they're interviewing the hostages. Hang on. I still have to update you on the on the dishwasher. We got to do dishwasher update. Tony says, I hope so. IRS will owe me $600, not to them. Well, I hope it gets cleared up. Maybe you'll, it'll just get deposited in your account. Edward says, my mom got her stimulus check. I'm still waiting on mine. Thank you again, Tony. I appreciate that. Okay, so what I want to talk about is, so I hadn't used, I hadn't used um, my dishwasher practically my whole adult life. I basically haven't used a dishwasher practically my whole adult life. Oh, Misha stopped by. Misha, I figured Misha would stop by. Misha stopped by. Misha, you got here right for the dishwasher update. Can you believe it? Also, Misha... I don't know if you were listening in, but I have a UPS mailbox now instead of USPS. 
traveling skinny says same i never used the dishwasher well i really didn't have a need for it i'll talk about that in a second so i hadn't um I hadn't really used it as an adult. Then I think what happened is I read, I somehow read an article. Yeah, Misha says, UPS it is. Here we go. It's, clo it's much closer to me, Misha, the UPS one. We have a new command, Misha, from Nightbot. Oh, hold on. Is there an update? That's not good. That's not good. Uh, now deemed homicide. Uh, breaking news. Breaking news. Here you go. Look. Austin police have just announced that two people have been found dead inside a central Austin doctor's office after a six our hostage situation. That's from Tony Flo Flohetsky. Now I'm wondering, hold on a second, Stephen, just gonna stop. Um, I'm wondering, um, is it the hostage taker and like, I don't even know how many people were in there. I don't know how many people were in there. I'm wondering is, did the hostage taker maybe just take one hostage? Is it maybe just one person? I was also wondering if it was like a domestic situation. Like my first thought when I heard about this was, did the did the hostage taker know the person? You know. Sarah heard he had a female doctor with him. I haven't heard that, but but I'm 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 wondering. Read is real says murder suicide. He let everyone else go. I haven't seen that yet, but I'm just wondering if it's like a domestic situation or something. Uh, I haven't seen anything aside from that. Yeah, Mark, I, I had heard that there were maybe a number of hostages in there, but sometimes that stuff is that sometimes the initial intelligence is incorrect. Also, I don't know if they if anybody got let let out, you know. People keep saying they read reports. I don't know where you're seeing these reports. Yeah, th there, there's been, I've seen no confirmation of how many people were in there. And even, even who the hostage is, uh, even who the hostage was, so... Here, here's another update right here. Look. Melanie Barden. Two people are deceased, one that was originally in the building and one that was not. Officer is not confirming if the suspect is one of the deceased. My guess is that it would be. Chris says it's about two miles from where he is in central Austin. Yeah, I, I assume the one not in the building would be the hostage taker.
Christopher Lund says, sad for my fellow Austinites. Yeah, see, Jody Barr says, no word from APD on the hostages. So there could have, there might have only been one hostage, or the male doctor they were trying to get to come out. So, you know, maybe there was only one person in there, along with the hostage taker. I'm wondering if it was like a domestic thing. Not good. It's certainly not good. I'm guessing something will come out in the next couple of minutes. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's really annoying when you say, like, why are you not covering this on this channel? <laughs> if, I, if I felt like I should cover it, I would go cover it. As I said before, it was six hours long. There was, like, nothing coming out about it. I normally don't cover a story if I'm just going to sit there in silence and wait for somebody to tweet something for hours. Chris Lund says, I think, quote, they went in with one person in their mind. Yeah, that would be my guess. There can be situations that I'm interested in following that I don't think are right, that I don't want to cover, and I don't think are right to cover on agenda-free TV. Chris says there was too little to hear about it, so it wouldn't have done well with the coverage. I mean, by the time I, I Chris was the first one who told me about it, at that by the time Chris told me about it, uh, there was there was somebody posting we haven't heard from the person in two hours. Misha says it's been going on forever. Figured it was over by now. Unfortunate ended this way. Yeah, nothing was really happening really much until this whole thing happened, where they sent the, they sent a robot in and there were some gunshots and that was it. Yeah, I'll mention, I'm going to talk about the dishwasher in a second. I just figured they're going to come out with an update in a second. so Because I know a bunch of people are interested in it. So I figured we'll just see, if, see what the update is. There was no scanner coverage of it that I was aware of either. I I don't think you're gonna hear the. Uh, I don't think you're gonna. They're gonna be p p playing their negotiation over the scanner. Read Israel says I have a feeling they'd actually been gone for quite a bit. Actually, well, yeah, I don't know uh, what the deal with that was. That it's possible. Chris said, I had it on and nothing. Oh, Misha said, broken dishwasher fund? There's, Misha, there's no broken dishwasher. I'm about to tell you about the dishwasher. But thank you, Misha. But there's no broken dishwasher. Yeah, Misha, let me know if you want a refund. Oh, Nicole says the Austin. Here, breaking news. Okay, Austin police made entry and found two people inside, one originally inside and one was not. Okay, we heard this already. We heard that already. It doesn't say only two people. That's from uh, Melanie Barden. It says found two people inside deceased, right? So is that only is that the only two people they found? Maybe is that it? They just found two people. So 
someone can let me know. Oh, I, I just saw it. Uh, Jody Barr posted an update. Here, hold on a second. Let me listen to this. Hang on. Hang on. There was a little update from... Um, there was a little update from the police. I just saw it posted by Jody Barr. Let me just play it right here. Okay. An update on the update. situation. The Austin Police Department had their robot unit go inside of the... The robot unit went inside the building. building. The robot unit, through camera, we were able to identify a victim. We went straight to our emergency rescue plans at that point. The SWAT team made entry into the building. Unfortunately, they found two subjects. One that was from originally inside the building. One okay. That was not. Okay. Both deceased. Okay. It's very early in the investigation. We don't have much more details. The homicide homicide unit is taking over the investigation. Any follow up, any further detail will have to come from them. It'll probably be tomorrow. Okay. So. Okay. I'm. Gonna, I'll retweet the video. Um. So what, what the police said, what the police said is that they sent a robot in. The robot saw a victim, a victim. Then at that point, they sent SWAT in because I guess they saw a victim. And then when the SWAT team got there, they found two people dead. So it sounds to me like there were only two people in there and they were both dead. I don't know that there were ever any other hostages in there because I didn't hear that there were. Um, they, no one reported that hostages were released. So, and now they haven't, some of you have said it's a female doctor inside, but I, I that hasn't been reported. So, um, and then I think that maybe people listening to that m knew the person inside. That's what, who knows? They might've known either of the two people, but from the sound of it, you could hear, I just retweeted the video. You could hear some people scream when they heard the news from the police so unfortunately, I guess they knew the people or knew at least one of the people in there. It's just terrible. Um, so it's, I mean, again, th there was no word of anybody else. So as far as I'm aware, the person went in there, you know, and it, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a domestic thing, uh, but I certainly think it's possible that the person, the per hostage taker knew the person who they, who was in there with them. Sarah Joy said that he said they would do a further update tomorrow morning. Very sad. Very, very sad. Yeah, Stephen Murray says, feel bad for people in the background. Well, it's really sad. I mean, that's, they, that's when they were hearing it. That's when they were hearing it. Madison G. said Fox News reported at least two people were initially released. So I didn't see that. I'm not saying it's not true. I just haven't seen it. So... And I'm looking at, the, oh, okay, here you go, look. Here. In the 9 p.m. update, Amanda Ruiz said a witness told her everyone inside the medical office had been taken off hostage by the suspect, but he let at least three people go immediately. Immediately. So it sounds like he made... Um, he let everybody go except the one person. Yeah, it, it might have been a murder-suicide, Judy Socket. I don't know. It's very possible. Edward says it's possible domestic thing. It's terrible. But if I had to guess, I'd say it's leaning that way, but you just don't know.
Yeah, well, that sucks. Well, if I hear more, I'll let you know. We don't know for sure yet if one of the people dead is the hostage taker. My guess is it is. Because they said one, one from outside the, off the building. One from outside the office. Yeah, so that's pretty bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I miss Sonic. Hey, thank you, Sonic. Sorry, I, I saw it and then I got caught up in it. Thank you, Sonic, for your support. Sonic posted, Sonic gave a super chat earlier. Thank you, Sonic. I don't even know if Sonic, I think Sonic's asleep. Thank you, Sonic. Thank you, Chris, for reminding me, Chris Smith. Yeah, that's really bad. Carol says, could be a doctor-patient relationship. Yeah, you also feel bad for the people who just found out who were there and found out when the police announced it. Sarah Joy, I, I haven't heard that confirmed anywhere. I haven't seen any reporting confirming that it was a, that the hostage was a female doctor. I, I don't. Maybe it was. I just I've read a lot of reporting on it, and that certainly hasn't come from the police. And the people I've been following, no one said that. So maybe it's true, but. Yeah, that's not good. Well, I assume tomorrow we'll hear more about what happened. Okay. Okay. So, anyways, um, in case you missed it, just to remind people, no more post office box. I now have a UPS box. So, if you're going to mail anything, Mail it to my UPS box. I'm going to be closing the post office box very, very soon. So that is the UPS box. That is the place to mail anything. I, I muted myself. How did I mute myself? I don't know why I muted myself. I accidentally muted myself. I said thanks to our moderators. Thanks to our mods. Um, Sarah Joy, Misha, Mark Helton. Yes, new address now. Do not use the old address. Do not use the old address. Use the new address. The new address is working.
Yeah, Misha, basically what happened is the post office said that a lot of the packages people were sending from Amazon had return service requested on them. And return service requested means they, they literally can't forward it. They have to send it back. If And so my only choice was to cancel forwarding and have to walk to that post office every time I want to get packages and lug them back here and take a bunch of time out of my day or the UPS store, which is much closer, getting a box there. So it's more expensive, but I got a box at the UPS store because it's much closer. So thanks for the person who had the idea last time to check out the UPS store. It was a good idea. Somebody said that in the last in the last uh, stream. So good idea. Thank you, Groot Shell Trust Father. No, Edward Kim, I have not used the fly swatter yet because I have not had any bugs in my apartment yet. When I do, I will definitely use it. The magnetic screen door does a good job of keeping the bugs out. All right, let's talk about the, um, let's talk about, I, I want to talk about the, uh, the dishwasher. Can we talk about the dishwasher? Um, I, uh, yeah, easy solution, Misha, Misha. Um, uh, I never used the dishwasher as an as adult, basically. And that all changed. One thing that changed my mind about it is, like a couple of weeks ago, I was randomly looking up something on the internet and I saw this article about how a dishwasher actually doesn't use more water than washing it by hand. Like a dish, the average dishwasher cycle I think uses the same amount of water as if you run the sink for two minutes. So you're not saving water generally by doing, di by doing dishes by hand. Uh, and that got me thinking. Um, also, uh, I mean, you use the energy for the heat. Um, don't put dish soap in it. Uh, no, I'm putting dish soap in it. Here we go. Here we go. Now Meech is going to explain how I, my, I live my life wrong, and she knows the right information, and I'm an idiot, and that I'm giving myself cancer. Okay, Misha, tell me. Tell me. All right, tell me about it. Tell me about how everyone is wrong, and you know the truth, and that we're all giving ourselves cancer. And if we just listened to you, we'd be much better off. Okay, tell me about it with the dishwasher. I want to hear it. Let me let me hear it. Tell me about it. You have the floor, Misha. Here we go. The floor is yours. Let's hear about how using soap in, in dishwasher's detergent is bad. Please let me know. Please enlighten me. Misha says, please put dish soap in it. You're so silly. You'll see why. Have at it. That's what everyone does. Oh, do you mean, Misha, do you mean like palm olive? Do you mean palm olive? Is that what you mean? Oh, okay. Misha thought, I thought you meant like don't use any kind of dishwasher detergent in your dishwasher. It says a lot that that's how I would interpret Misha. It says a lot of my impression of Misha that that's, that that's how I would interpret her. That'd be a very Misha thing to say. Oh, don't don't use the dishwasher detergent though. You'll see, you'll you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Misha, you have to admit that'd be a very you thing to say. Okay. So no. Why would you think? Why did you think I would? Why would you think I'd use palm olive in the dishwasher? Gosh.
My interpretation was reasonable. Because why would you be saying to me, don't use palm olive, don't use Dawn in your dishwasher? Okay, anyways, so I had never I had never done it, but I just figured, well, it's not going to... Here's the thing. So I figured it's not going to use more water. Seems like pretty efficient. And so, you know, I don't have that many dishes. But, you know, the, the thing is, is like, you know, I'll like cook burgers and I'll have the plate on which I put the raw meat and then I'll have the utensils. You know, it gets annoying because when you cook, stuff, gets, stuff touches the raw meat and then you got to like clean that, clean that pretty well. So I started thinking, I said, well, what if instead of cleaning the stuff, when I cook like burgers or chicken, I'll just throw everything in the dishwasher. And it won't be that much stuff, obviously, because it's just me, but I'll just try it. And I last night I did it for the first time, and I was so happy. I didn't have to worry about, uh, you know, like, like as soon as I'm done with the plate that has the raw meat on it and I put the meat on the grill, I just put the plate right in the dishwasher. But then I was like, you know what I'll do? My cutting board, I've, I've never run that through a dishwasher. I'll put that in there too, you know? And then I put a couple other things in the dishwasher. I was like, oh, my cereal bowl that I always use. And so I ran one load of dishes. I did the short cycle. I did like the hour cycle and I did it. And I used, when I, when I moved to my place, um, they had a sample of these uh, Cascade Platinum soap, pack, soap tablets. So I figured I'll, I'll use one of those. And then it was done. Uh, and I came out. And oh my gosh, the plates were clean. And the bowl was clean. Oh, I put my, my, the fork and spoon I use it all the time. They were so clean. And it was so easy. And everything was disinfected. One of our viewers said earlier in the chat, I don't know if it was Melissa. Somebody said it like disinfects better than you would. Yeah, so it was amazing. It was so easy. Um, I put my water bottle in there. It came out great. Yes, Misha said it's warm. And so, yeah, and it does. It saves time. Even though it's just me, it still saves me time. Then I was like, oh my gosh, why haven't I been doing this all my life? But then I realized before last year, I wasn't cooking. I wasn't cooking before last year. So it's really the cooking. The cooking has, has made it make sense for me to do dishes because before I was cooking I'd, I'd barely have any dishes normally I would go out for for lunch or whatever and like I would never even make a big meal at home so I like I'd have a cereal bowl or something you know so it's really um it was really uh I think it's the, because I started cooking it makes more sense for me too but I did it tonight too I made chicken and I just I just put everything in there I put uh, my the uh, you know I say often on the air I hate I hate cleaning those tweezers you know the not the the uh, not the tweezers the big tweezers the uh, the metal things that you click to that clamp together that you use to uh, grab the meat because because those have like raw meat on them but now I don't have to worry about it now I don't have to worry about it I just put them in there uh, I probably put like three three plates and a um, my big bowl and my little bowl, and like two pieces of silverware. I should clean, next time I'm going to clean all my silverware, and a, a glass or two, and a water bottle. So not even that much tongs, it's tongs, exactly, tongs. Um, so, but it's just, it's, when I'm cooking, it, it actually does save me time. As strange as this sounds, it, it saves me time. Uh, no, the dishes come out clean, the dishes came out great, uh, sparkly clean, doesn't even take that long. Tonight I did the normal wash cycle. Didn't take long. It's not that loud either. You can't really hear it in the studio. Uh, Terry says, try the big pot. I, I, could, I could do the pot. I just haven't bothered yet. But it's so, here, let me, let me show you the, um, the tablets. See, this is this is why marketing works. This is why marketing works. I didn't. I thought I didn't have any dishwashing detergent. I was going to go buy it, and I checked under. I checked under my sink, and when I moved in, they left these for me, and I kept them. 
and, and I, I didn't know what they were. And then I did research and I'm like, oh, these are like the best recommended, uh, these are like the most recommended, uh, they're tablets. You just, you put the tablet in your, in your uh, dishwashing machine. And then it, you just leave it there. So I ordered a bunch of these. But if they didn't give me the free ones, I probably would have never thought of it. Maybe I would have if I looked it up. But anyways, so I, I just bought a package of these, uh, a bucket of them. But, but uh, So I'm so happy about the dishwasher. And as one of our viewers said, it's like, yeah, like it, I'm guessing it does do a lot better job disinfecting stuff than I would. Yeah, Madison G says your electricity might go up a bit. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm using any more hot water because I would normally use hot water to wash the dishes myself. Probably it uses a little more energy. True, true. I guess it's not going to be that much of a difference, but it just sa it saves the time. It just saves the time. Melissa says it should raise the humidity in your apartment a little, which I think you'd enjoy. Margo says, don't put sterling silverware in there. Kathy says, I will never use that cascade stuff. Um, yeah, for, for my cutting boards, my cutting boards, are, you're not supposed to put wood in the dishwasher. My cutting boards are plastic, and I've now washed all my cutting boards, which is great. Terry likes this brand of dishwasher soap. It's just mentally, it's just so much easier. I think it is more hygienic. I agree with Jessica Rosenfeld. I'm sure I'm not doing nearly as good a job um, cleaning the stuff, like the raw meat touch stuff. Oh, I put my, bur my, burger, my burger patty maker, I just put it in there. Nicole says people do it a lot. That people put in Dawn into the dishwasher a lot. So I've now used my dishwasher twice in two days after years and years and years oh misha did that the first time she used it so i'm very excited about this i'm very excited also you'll love this story you'll love this story i think you'll love this story so i um Hang on, let me find where this is. So I was last night after I did my first load of dishes and I was so overjoyed with the whole process, um, I looked up the dishwasher manual for my dishwasher, right? Um, and I noticed that one thing it said is it said, oh, there's, there are these filters in the dishwasher. And I was like, filters, really? And there's, at the bottom, there are these two filters that I guess what they do is they basically filter out, one of them filters out the food. Let's see if I can find it. I have the manual here. Um, let's see, manuals. Dishwasher. It says, I don't know if you can see this, anyways. It'll, it'll, I'll just, really quick. It tells you to maintain the filters. Um, the upper filter assembly keeps oversized items and foreign objects along with very fine food particles out of the pump. Okay. The lower filter keeps food from being recirculated into, onto your dishware. Dr. Sysop says all food, all dishwashers have filters. So... Mark says, I wash all the food off my dishes, never had a filter problem, 25 years old. So the thing is, though, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to check and see how the filters are in my dishwasher. They were so disgusting. I don't think they've ever been cleaned. I don't think they've ever been cleaned. Uh, I'm sure the person who lived here before me where everything was broken never cleaned them. For all I know, they haven't been cleaned in 10 years. It's really something the building they should do. The building, when, when, when tenants move out and then move in, they should clean the filters. So it was disgusting. So I cleaned all my filters off. What, one was just covered in gunk. Um, yeah, they were they one of the, the low the lower filter wasn't bad. It was so so, but the upper filter, oh my gosh, it was just covered in gunk. So I I got all the gunk off. 
So be check your check your filters in your dishwasher. Yeah, Terry says you might need to clean or replace the filters. I would bet they did not cha change those out when they cleaned. And it is something in the manual. They say it a number of times. They say the uh, the fi the filtration system minimizes sound and optimizes water and energy conservation while providing superior cleaning performance. They really emphasize this about the filters. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll I'll clean the filters. I'm glad I did. I think I'm the first one ever in this apartment to clean the filter. Misha says, must rinse dishes first, always rinse junk off first. The big food, I believe. I get the big food off. Mark says, I use it to sanitize more than clean. How hot is the water in the dishwasher? I don't even know. Misha said she put her AFTV mug in the dishwasher and it broke? Really? Oh, Misha. I broke a bowl. I broke one of my cereal bowls tonight. I wasn't paying attention. I knocked it on the ground. It broke. I had that bowl for a while. And then I have some more bowls, but I realized I, realized I have cereal every day. I should look into a different kind of bowl. If, I, if, if there were no pandemic now, I would go to like a store and just look at different bowls because I don't want a bunch of bowls, but I, I might want to like try a different shape or size or whatever, but I need to see them in person. So when the pandemic's over, I'm buying myself a new bowl for my cereal. So I use it all the time. Mark says around 150, Doug says 120. Carol says, dishwasher water is as hot as your water heater puts out. Mine will be 135 or so. The bowl I use now is just a white stoneware bowl. Here, I'll show you my bowl. I like this bowl. It's a nice size. I got this bowl in New York like 15 years ago, maybe more like 20 years ago. I have a couple of them, but I only have two left. So it's a stoneware, nice size bowl. But um, I was looking at, there's like some cool colored bowls on Amazon, but also I saw like a black bowl. Here, I want to show you the kind I might want to get. I saw one that intrigued me. You know, like sometimes, like in the past, I've like, been somewhere and they have a cool bowl and I'm like wait I could get those yeah so I saw this one and these are too big I think these are too big I don't know but I like the idea of these so let me show you these I like the idea of these bowls but I don't I don't need four I just need one as an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Here, look. You see, these are like these black stoneware bowls. I kind of like the idea of these. I think it would be fun to eat cereal out of these. See, it's black stoneware. But these are too small. That's smaller than my current bowl. Although maybe it holds, actually, maybe it holds more because it's not, that's interesting. It says 30 ounces. I don't know if it is, but that's smaller than mine. But maybe because it's like of the shape, it holds more. Because it's not rounded. Hmm. But I don't need four of them. These look kind of neat to me. I like the shape. Andrea says those are cool. Somebody in the review, 30 ounces is a lot. Somebody in the review said it wasn't 30 ounces. Plates were not a matte finish. Uh-oh. Plates. Bowls are sturdy and thick. Oh, look. This person said, I bought these specifically because the bowls are have, I have are slightly under 20 ounces, and the soup I buy fills the bowl to the brim. These are advertised as 30 ounces, but they're really 20 ounces. 
I don't know. 30 ounces is gigantic. That's too big, I think. Maybe I'll try them. I could try them. I don't want, I don't need four bowls. Isn't the thing I should do, if you were me, wouldn't you just go, if there were no pandemic, wouldn't the thing to do be to like go to a store? You could even go to Target and just see what bowls they have and just try one. Because I use bowls every day. I use bowls multiple times a day. I use this bowl multiple times a day. Hey, South Jersey Larry. Edward likes those. Stoneware is nice, though, if they're really stoneware. It looks like they are. See? I like the shape. They're small, though. I want bigger. They're, they're smaller diameter than mine. Oh, thank you, Judy Socket. Hey, thank you, Judy Socket. That's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Salon Girl says Walmart sells single bowls. Nan B says buy four, give Misha three. Give Misha three when I leave the box for her when I leave Orlando. Uh, Carol Reed says, go to 99 cents only or Dollar Tree and you can buy a single bowl or go to a pottery shop and make your own. Yeah, so, so the problem is there's a pandemic. So after the pandemic, I will go get a bowl. <laughs> Four bowls? Misha said, yes, you do. It's called adulting. I need to get Four bowls? Adulting is four bowls. The thing about four bowls is I wouldn't have to wash them after I use them. I could put them in the dishwasher. Anyways. I didn't even think about getting a new bowl. Now I'm, now I'm obsessed with the idea of getting a new bowl. Because I use it every day. Sarah Joy says, I just got two new huge bowls from Target. What did they cost at Target? What did they cost? <laughs> Melissa McQueen says, Mo bowls, mo problems. Murkow said, Murkrow says they have them at Salvation Army storms, stores. I'm really picky, though. I want, a, I want a stoneware. I want a black stoneware bowl now. Oh, thank you, Dizzy Dale. Look at that sticker. Nice sticker, Dizzy Dale. I don't think I've seen that one before. Thank you. Thank you, Dizzy Dale. It's weird. Like, that's the only one I see of that shape. on Amazon. I like, I really like that shape. That shape and black stoneware. If anyone finds something like this, if anyone can find me something like this, let me know. I think these are too small. I'm going to post it again. Sarah Joy sent me one. Uh, let's see. So stoneware cereal bowl. What is the dimensions of this? Dimensions? Anyone? <laughs> it's a little more rounded than the one I was looking at. It's kind of nice, though. Dimensions, anyone? Dimensions? Why does it have a... Hmm. Oops, now I messed it up. Dimensions? Anyone? 
doesn't say. Literally no dimensions. I don't know if they're big or not. I can't tell. It doesn't say. It, doesn't, it literally doesn't say the dimensions. But see, that would be cool to, to like just try one. <laughs> nice. Misha says Lola, Nico, and Maya will give you theirs. Thank you. Maybe I'm looking for a dog bowl. Thank you, Misha. Ship dimensions. Those, those are those uh, 5.71 inches length. They're not that long. See, I think I want something even wider than this. I think I want something wider than this. I think I'm not sure. I just don't know. I just don't know. I need what I need to do is I need to go to the store after the pandemic. I need to go to the store and I need to take this with me. And then I can go and I can compare this to the ones in the store. Also, I should measure how much water this one holds, so I know. I'll do that. All right, it's almost 1 o'clock. we got to wrap this up soon because it's almost 1 o'clock. Yankees Rain says, Mommy, why is that man comparing bulls? No, Doc, I don't want to go. I don't want to get... I don't want to get the virus because I felt like I had to go buy a bowl. That would not be worth it to me. Not be worth it. Misha says, agree, no COVID for a bowl. Yankees Rain says, I like both the stoneware set and the Target Bargain Bowl. I'll have to look around. I'll have to look around. I really haven't done much looking online. I have a bowl in my mind that I want. Uh, Margo says William Sonoma must have black stoneware bowls. I didn't even check William Sonoma. Here, look. Stoneware bowl. No, no. No, I, I, I don't like the I like the other shape better. No, not the right shape. No. Ooh, this one's not bad. Look at cereal bowl. How big are these though? How big are these? Are they just too small? Uh, what's the? Di oh, they're, they're so expensive. What's the dimensions? Dimensions. Ooh, six and a half diameter. These are actually good. Ooh, can I buy one? Set of four. Uh, these are forty-four dollars for four. Kind of like the gray. The gray is kind of nice. But these are that's six and a half ounce. Uh, these are these are even a little bigger than my current bowl. These are nice. I don't need four bowls. Forty-four dollars. Oh, Nicole Wilson says you can't buy one. No, it gives you, you the only option is a set of four. I should never have looked at the site. Where's my light? It's all messed up. I should never have looked at the site. Let's 
See, this is the problem. Why don't they sell one? What if somebody wants one bowl? Somebody could argue, somebody could argue, they could say, well, you use your bowls every day so much. Somebody could argue that, uh, that it's worth it. Looks like a cool bowl, though, doesn't it? Look at this. Look at that shape. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Click on the white color. It lets you choose one. Oh, the white color, you can buy a single one for 10.95. I don't like the white as much though. I like the gray. The gray is better. I like a dark bowl. Gray or black. <laughs> Misha says need at least two. Oh. Oh. Why did I look? What is this? TMD sent me one. TMD sent me a dog bowl. <laughs> TMD sent me a dog bowl. Now, I don't really like this one, TMD. This isn't really my kind of thing. It's kind of funky, this one. The one you sent me is kind of funky. Yeah, TMD sent me this. That's not really working for me. Sarah Joy suggested Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn. See, Sarah Joy sent me this. Look, Pottery Barn. Okay. Uh, I don't like that gray as much. That looks like unfinished. Yuck. I like the idea of these. What's the dimensions of these? Dimensions. Six point, same dimensions. Same dimensions. Mm, not, not as good colors, though. Not liking the colors. I'm not grooving on the colors. It's the right idea. Well, who who else sells bowls? Sir La Table. <laughs> this this channel has all become me searching for bowls. That's all we do now on this channel is I search for bowls with people. Oops, stone, I think. Uh, bamboo salad bowl, three of them. What is this salad bowl? I don't think that's going to be right. It's a little too thin. I don't know. I tried. I think the winner the winner so far is this one. That's the best looking one. It's that one and then the Amazon ones are too small. These are too small. Look at that one. Ah. Black would be cool though. Macy's Misha says, Carol Reed says, Macy's. <laughs> Misha says, trying to have a no-buy month, this is torture. Uh, there's probably a million bowls on this site. Twelve pages? Twelve pages? I'm not going to look through twelve pages. Mm. 
There's this one. I don't love the shape of this though. This has $14. The seller, the white, this bowl is $14. That bowl is $14. It's not even, it's not even big enough. What if I just Google black stoneware bowl? Here, look, I Googled black stoneware bowl. Target has cereal bowls. Let's see. These are going to be too small. Too small. Somebody sent me these already, right? I don't know. I think they're too small. Dimensions. Doesn't even have the product dimensions. This is the worst stream I've ever done. I've done a stream where all I'm doing is looking for bowls. This is the entire stream is me looking for bowls. I don't think I have any subscribers anymore. I think everybody has now unsubscribed from the channel. Everybody is now unsubscribed. That's it. Overstock, Wayfair. Even Nightbot doesn't like the stream anymore. Nope, that doesn't work. Yeah, that doesn't work. Ugh, I don't know what to do. Well, I'll have to keep. I, I won't. I won't keep making you go through this. I will not keep making you watch this. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. I appreciate your suggesting, though. You're giving me good. Um, you're giving me good ideas. See, I don't use much stuff. That's like one of the only things I use every day, and I realize it'd be so cool. All right, we're gonna start wrapping this up. It's 1.12 a.m. I wanna go for a run. We gotta start wrap, we, we gotta wrap this up. We gotta wrap this up. We gotta wrap it up. You can send me bowl links on Twitter if you want. We're wrapping this up. I gotta, oh, Christina Alson, Christina messaged me. Did you break the bowl? No, not your bowl, Christina, no. Christina, I have your bowl. Your bowl is not a cereal bowl. Christina, your bowl is great. I use it, but it's not a cereal bowl. Blue Chainsaw Man says unsubbed. No, I, I just, I, I just, just, I broke one bowl today and then I realized, oh, I've never considered getting another bowl. Maybe I'd like one. I have not worn the LED laces yet. I will. Okay, look. Anyways. Anyways. It's time. It's time to wrap it up. I appreciate you joining me for this late night stream. Um, thank you for all of your bowl suggestions. And remember, new address, new address, new address. Send everything here to my UPS mailbox. New address, new mailbox. Yes, Tony, that's a yes. Uh, hey guys, thanks to our moderators. Mark Helton has been there. Misha has been there. Sarah Joy. Thank you, moderators. Thank you. Also, thanks to you for watching. Um, certainly, uh, thoughts with everybody effect affected by the situation in Austin. That was not good. So thinking about them. Uh, thank you, Jessica Rosenfeld. And Darren Markley and Peppa Chicken and Andrea Franco. No, I hope everybody doesn't start selling me. People shouldn't send me bowls because you, you see how picky I am. You'll send me a bowl and I'll be like, I don't want that. 
I get to decide what I want. Carol Reed says, happy bull hunting. Thank you, Margo. Thank you, Nicholas Guerrero, for watching. Yankees Rain. Alexandria, Madison G. No, I did not break it on purpose. Doug Rabbit. Nosy Rosie, K Rock, D Train, Laura Slover, Dizzy Dale, Doc Herbalist, Herbalist. Love You says Etsy sells bulls. Edward Kim likes square bowls with dividers. It's not really a bowl. Winter says West Elm. Maybe I'll have to check out West Elm. Nosy Rosie says Try World Market. See, what normally what I would do if there was no pandemic is I would just go to a store and look around. Nicole Wilson, Starfire. Nan B, Terry. Craigslist. I don't know about if I trust Craigslist. Ikea. Magenta Soul says, look at Ikea. That's an interesting idea. It's an interesting idea. I'll look at Ikea. Linda Payne. Linda says, I think you realize it's time to be an adult. Dishwashers, crockery in forest, not singular. Groot says, new spoon next. I like my spoon. Yankees Rain says, you'll have to assemble your bowl from Ikea. Jessica says, make sure the stoneware is dishwasher safe. Oh, Nicole Wilson, that is very kind of you. Nicole Wilson, thank you, Nicole. I appreciate that. Nicole says good night. Thank you, Nicole. Much appreciated. Thanks to everybody else who donated too. That's very nice of you. Much appreciated. Thank you. I am wearing... Oh, I forgot one thing. I, I, I forgot something, but I'm going to mention it next time. I'm going to save it for next time because I, I want to talk about it at length. So there's already something I want to talk about next time. Yeah, I'm going to go for a run on the treadmill. I just have to, I have to eat something first and then go for a run on the treadmill. It's so nice out tonight. The, the temperature right now is 68 degrees right now. It's 68 degrees. Oh, my gosh. 68 degrees. All right, guys. X Partier, thanks for watching. Rahav Van Roy, thank you for watching. Misha said, so much for a no-buy. Misha already bought something? Oh, Misha. Oh, no. Mr. Showtime, I don't know what I'm going to watch tonight. We will see while running. I'll watch something. Uh, Wichita. I wonder if Wichita is from Wichita. Thank you, Wichita, for watching. And Salon Girl. All right, it's time to wrap it up, guys. Those of you who are still here, it's time. Tony Del Monte, thanks for watching. Okay, guys, I'm wrapping it up. We're wrapping it up here at Lookner Channel. And Darren Markley and Sue T, thank you for watching. Ex parte your Paula Faust, thank you. Love you. Love you, our viewer. Thank you for watching. Photo scanner, I have to talk about next time. It's another topic for next time. And Roxanne Betke, thank you, Roxanne, for watching. Oh, Ralphie boy. Ralphie Boy made it in right at the end. This might be the latest that Ralphie Boy has ever come in. Good to see you, Ralphie Boy. Thanks for the sticker. Thanks for the support. Hope you are well, Ralphie Boy. Yeah, this is the most news we've ever done on Lookner. I agree. Misha bought black and white striped room divider drapes for the studio. Looks so Alice in Wonderland-esque. 
All right, guys. That is it. It's 120. It's 120. It's 120. Yes, K-Rock. It's, it's simple shopping, given that it's just me. Oh, Charles Goki. Hey, thank you, Charles Goki. Thank you. Thanks for the sticker, Charles, and your support. Thank you, Charles Goki. Oh, and Kathy Williams, thanks for watching. All right. Oh, my gosh. It's time. It's time. All right, guys. That is it. Thank you so much. Thank you to our moderators. Thank you to all the lurkers. Thank you, everybody in the chat. And we are wrapping it up. We'll do it again soon, guys. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Have a great night. And we'll see you soon.